Hey guys, it's Nadine. So I'm here to do a really quick tutorial. I'm in the process of rearranging my craft room, renovating, reorganizing, <sighs> knee deep into it. <laughs> Anyways, so what I wanted to share with you guys was a really quick tip that I had. Um, this right here is the Ranger um, mat. And what it's great for is when you're doing stamping or um, embossing or any kind of mixed media stuff. Um, this is the craft mat and it doesn't allow things to, um, you can wipe it off really easily. So it doesn't, it protects your surface and also um, you can put things on here that can be peeled off of it. It's great for glue gun stuff, um, for like I said, stamping, um, all kinds of things, okay? So what I wanted to show you guys was if you have one of these craft mats, which you can purchase online and I will put some links below as well as Michael's. I think I even saw Hobby Lobby ha has them as well and might um, and maybe even Joanne's. Um, I love this thing and I have several of them but recently um, in my organization and my renovating my craft room I figured out a little thing that I'm gonna do so what you need is um, oops, oh gosh, sorry what you need is one of these um, desk pads or desk protectors from Ikea and let me just show you guys where it is here it is this is what it's called and it's called the proj and this is the number right here and i will link in the description box below um, for any of you who might want to order this online and or pick it up in the store okay so this is going to act as your mat um, or the surface and then what you're going to do is you're just going to get some of this terrifically tacky um, tape that I purchased from it's made by Provo Craft and I got this from Hobby Lobby and it's the half inch size and it just looks like this so what I did was I already started to um, go ahead and I'm gonna put this uh, double-sided sticky tape or this red line tape on both on all sides of this craft sheet okay so one second while I go ahead and do that okay so I've done all three edges and then I'm gonna do this last edge right here on camera just so that you guys can get a feel for what I'm doing and I have to tell you that if you are going to use double-sided sticky tape the best thing to use is these non-stick um, titanium scissors um, this is what it looks like and I will put a link for these in the description box below as well so I'm just going to find the edge of my tape and then run it as close to the edge as possible so there you go and that's a little crooked and that's driving me kind of crazy there we go now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and peel off all of these all of the red tapes the double-sided um, backings to it and I will be right back so all I'm doing now is I'm gonna go ahead and remove the backings of the double-sided sticky tape and if you guys have acrylic nails, you all know that it's almost difficult um, or almost impossible to go ahead and <laughs> remove backing of tape. I remember that when I had acrylic nails that it was like a pain. So then all I did was remove the backing of the sticky tape. And now I'm going to go ahead and just lay this down in the middle of my <clears throat> uh, IKEA desk pad. And I want to make sure that pretty much all of the sides are... Um, there's the same distance on all of the sides so that it's nicely placed in the middle and then there you have it you have your little um, area that you can do stamping you can do um, glue gunning or whatever and not have to worry about damaging your desk your desktop or even the pad and this is something that you can take up and move it if you need to or like I have a specific area that I do my stamping at so this thing will never move um, it's always gonna be out always ready to use um, and yeah so there you have it um, I wanted to share this with you guys I hope this was helpful to someone and I will put all the links in the description box below I hope you guys have a great day take care bye